Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the 10 advice that I would give to myself, uh, but a 20 year old Jovi. This is an idea that I got from you guys after watching my 10 things that I do differently as a single girl. So I encourage everyone to chip in as well. If you're young, write your life stories. If you're slightly older, if you've experienced life, you write in your advice for the younger clan as well. So that's what the whole video is about. It's just going to be a nice chatty video. And with that, let's get started but if this is the very first time you're seeing this face hello i am jovita thank you so much for clicking on this video i would love it if you click that red subscribe button just underneath this video uh, uh, if you haven't subscribed already yeah and um, also don't you like this festivity that's happening over here i'm having a whole navratri series coming up guys and a quick makeup tutorial for all nine days of navratri all different colors whatever color of makeup tutorial you want you will be seeing that on shorts okay and on reels so follow me on instagram if you haven't already like why haven't you <laughs> Anyways guys, let's jump into the video. The intro is long enough as it is. Number one, don't limit yourself to what you've always done. So um, when I was in school, I was a science student and I did really well in school. And uh, after 12th, I actually wanted to do designing. I wanted to sign up to NIFT. But my teacher said, you're such a smart student, you're a science student, why will you waste all of your knowledge um, and uh, go and ruin your career by doing NIFT, you know? So my parents, my guardians, my teachers, everyone advised me this, so I went and took up engineering. Now, <laughs> fast forward to a few years, a few decades later, guys, what am I doing? Am I an engineer? Am I making use of the... Yes, you never regret the education. I'm so proud of the education that I have. It has made me much, much smarter, vigilant, all of that. But I am doing where my passion led me. I am, at the end of the day, still with fashion and beauty. And if I had that knowledge from NIFT, I feel like I could have reached newer heights i also did well in my engineering so then i was like hey i uh, i have to stick to this now i wasted you know four years of my life in engineering i can't just leave this and you know but eventually again what happens your true passion takes over and you find your true happiness with doing what you love doing you know so don't stick with what you've always been doing be courageous to make a change even if you feel it's too late like i thought it was too late to change my vision when i was just 16 that's that's how people make you believe i was also again very scared to change my career path at just 21 can you think about it 21 is just such a young ripe age why will you be scared of making changes you know at this point i'm making changes left right and center when i feel like changing my path i change it when i want to start something new i change it and i wish i had someone to advise me this when i was a teenager and in my 20s number two oh my god marriage is not the end goal of life i know you will be like ayo jovi you thought that you you were that yes i was that person who thought Hmm, marriage was the end goal of life. I was that person, you know, I gave it my all. I gave everything to this one person and uh, that doesn't fare out well, guys. You cannot give everything you have to one person, you know, you cannot give you to one person. You have to give you to you. Don't jump into marriage. You wait it out because you have to set your own life. You have to experience your own life. You have to make your own mistakes. And also um, tying into the first and second point, you know, I was also the kind of person, I was like, if I have a boyfriend, even if it is good or bad, whatever, he's my boyfriend, I have to marry him. <laughs> no! No! Feel free to walk out of a damaging relationship. Feel free to walk out of an unfulfilled relationship because at that point, you're just dating. You're not tied by legal contract. Once you're married, just because you've been dating for a while, you're tied down, guys. And let me tell you, divorce is not fun. So wait. Wait for marriage. Anyways, moving on. Take care of yourself physically and mentally now mental health i have touched on in many of my videos now because i feel it's something that is just gaining acceptance in our 
country now because if we spoke about mental health when I was younger guys when I was in my 20s people would straight away call you mad and it's not madness it's not craziness you need mental health help if you're feeling down if you're feeling low something is not right with you do not wait don't uh, distract yourself with television or friends or Friends are great, but you need professional help and you need professional help. And also take care of your skin. When you take care of your skin, when you are young, you're preserving that youthful skin. And there are so many things in the market today like this and that. And like, where do you start? You know, so I'm going to give you a very quick roundabout of skincare right now. Number one, sunscreen, guys. Sunscreen is going to keep you looking young for as long as science can that non-invasive non-painful inexpensive one tube of cream that can do that to you and why will you slack then you know if you're going out in the sun just apply sunscreen on your face hands body wherever it is otherwise in the morning routine at the moment the one ingredient that i am loving that will suit all skin types all ages whatever your skin concern is Saika. I absolutely love Saika guys. It repairs your skin, heals your skin, brings a glow to your skin and it's very mild and gentle and you get Saika in the form of a moisturizer. So wash your face, apply the moisturizer, sunscreen and boom done. You're done with your morning routine. When I was in my early teens and uh, late teens and early 20s, the shit that I used to put on my face, I used to wash my face and I used to put fair and lovely. Ew. <laughs> I don't want to get into that. I have roasted myself many, many times on the channel. Maybe I'll roast myself again some other time. But I wish someone told me to get on something that's actually beneficial to your skin, you know? So this is the Centella Moisturizer from Pure Bubbles. This not only has Centella Asiatica, which is Saika, this also has Maracasocide, which is also an extremely healing ingredient. I love this ingredient, Maracasocide, and very few skincare brands come out with products with Maracasocide. Maybe because it's not trending, I don't know. But when I see a cream with Maracasocide, it's healing. I love it. It heals you from any trauma, including sun damage. It heals your skin, giving your skin barrier that health and strength. And that makes your skin glow, guys. Glow. And it also has Asiatic acid. This is for all skin types for a 50 ml cute little tube. It will cost you 749 rupees. Now, the texture of it is slightly, I want to say, thicker than your gel moisturizers that I spoke about in my oil-free gel moisturizers. If you have normal to dry skin you are going to love 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 this if you have oily skin just take half a pump that'll be enough to cover your entire face and neck but it definitely I have oily skin and this is the moisturizer that I'm using currently and if you are someone who likes to stay away from parabens and phthalates and sulfates and heavy metals uh, this also does not contain any of that so you can very comfortably apply this on your face and still expect results now pure bubbles has agreed to give you guys a 10 percent discount on your purchases you can use the discount code jovita on the website and immediately 10 percent off so make use of this opportunity right now to try this product out now this is for the morning you can use it in morning and evening but what do i like to use in the evening guys a retinol now i truly believe and a lot of you tell me that and a lot of people that i know in my real life friends as well tell me that i have better skin today than i had in my 20s and i owe a lot of it to my skincare and one of the biggest uh, ingredient that i love using is the retinol and pure bubbles has the most gentle very beautifully effective retinol as well and this is the face cream with retinol you apply this at night now i believe that you do not need to use retinol every night i like to use it at the most twice a week because i feel like that's enough the rest of the nights you can use this as your regular morning and evening moisturizer and twice a night use this at night that's it wash your face use this at night you don't need anything else because again this is also slightly more thicker it's more nourishing it's got all of your hydrating ingredients it will take care of all your skin requirements for the night now retinol what does it do it increases the cell turnover so your skin is going to produce new skin cells at a faster rate now as you age the skin cell turnover slows down which kind of leaves us with dull skin you know that is one 
benefit of retinol. Retinol can also reduce acne, which is a huge problem uh, in your earlier years. You know, hormonal acne and dull skin, skin tanning, all of this can be remedied with a good retinol. Along with 0.3% retinol, this also contains botanical actives, peptides and vitamin B3, which are all amazing ingredients that I've been singing praises for on this channel. So essentially with just these two products in your routine and a face wash and a sunscreen, your whole skincare routine is complete. You don't need to indulge in multiple, multiple, multiple products and really Confuse yourself and your skin. For a 28 ml of tube, this is gonna cost you 999 rupees, but do not forget to use my discount code Jovita at checkout on their website. All kinds of information will be linked down in the description bar below. Now, Pure Bubbles very, very kindly supported me in this channel. But of course, as always guys, I have tested this out myself for the last one month. You can always see me barefaced without a stitch of makeup or filter on my Instagram stories. And you've been complimenting me on the glow on my face um, this is the reason why you know together they also reduce hyperpigmentation they minimize the appearance of pores it repairs sun damage these two takes care of your whole entirety of your skin problems so I highly recommend you can check it out yourself and let's move on advice number four that I would give to myself is Speak to people, make friends, and maintain friendship. When I was in school, I had a lot of friends. I was in Kuwait. And then I moved to India to pursue my B.Tech. And because of the new life and new people, culture shock, all of that, I kept to myself. And I also had a very traumatic experience in my first year of college. Maybe I'll do a story time. Let me know if you guys want to see a story time. Um, with the people I thought were my friends, you know, very first year of my college and also by the end of first year I was crowned Miss Kerala and because of all of these life experiences I started sticking to a very small close group of friends and I kind of lost my trust in people and I did not want to make a huge group of friends anymore. Now what happened is <laughs> after my college was over again I had a fallout with the group that I had made and because I stuck with such a small group when you have a follower then you're left with no one you know um that was a very painful period in my life so i would like to go back to college jovi and say don't limit yourself to the two people or the three people that you are comfortable with make more friends network and maintain those relationships and uh, friendships bring in so much value to your life so many lessons in your life so many other perspective in your life uh, when you are confining yourself to a few people you're also confining your thoughts and your processes to that little block you know when you open yourself up to people even if they're gonna hurt you at the end of the day you're opening yourself up to lessons and experiences so um, that is a lesson that I've learned through my life and I have rectified in my current life. I'm not scared of making friends anymore and I love my life right now. You know, where if people have to walk out, they will walk out. If I'm going to be hurt, I'm going to be hurt and that's okay. All of these are life experiences. You don't have to build a wall and keep people out predicting a fallout. Number five, money. Money, money, money. Tch, tch. It's so funny. Tch, tch. When we are in our early 20s, it's not like we're making a lot of money, you know. That is just enough to barely scratch the surface. And I feel like I was pretty smart with my money savings uh, in my earlier life. And that is the advice that I want to give you. Uh, start saving. Because a lot of my friends would blow up uh, the monthly check, you know. By the second week, they are broke and they don't know how to even pay the rent. And I feel it's so important to set aside a small chunk. Small, very small. Whatever you can, you know. Set aside a small amount as savings and once you have enough savings you can slowly put it into investments I think financial independence is so so important and you need to find that independence yourself and that comes from a very early age by saving money it's great that you're making money it's very tempting to buy to spend to splurge but also take care of your future and start making savings number six don't be swayed by peer pressure which means don't ever do anything that you're not comfortable doing, you know. You don't have to be judgmental of your friends. You can be completely accepting of your friends for doing whatever they want to do. But if you don't want to do it, don't do it. Even if it is going to Vega land uh, and sitting on a roller coaster, if you don't feel like it, don't do it. If you let 
your group of people sway you into doing things that you don't want to do your your life path is going to be that <laughs> your life path is going to be you doing very little of what you want to do and most of what other people what want you to do with your life at the end of the day remember that your life is your life and you hold the key to it and you make the final decision of what's going to happen to your life and what are your daily activities small things like that matter guys advice number 7 i wish i could write this in big bold letters in my hostel wall love yourself look at yourself in the mirror admire yourself and appreciate yourself and be kind to yourself do you know that i thought i was fugly <laughs> i didn't like my face i didn't like my hair i didn't like my body i didn't like my fingers i didn't like my smile i didn't like anything and now i look back at the young me who was so deprived of love by myself and i also see such a pretty girl you know i wish i could give myself that love uh, i made a lot of mistakes because i didn't appreciate myself and i had such low self esteem and i had such huge insecurities because i didn't love myself and today i look at her and think what was wrong? she had a banging body she had a beautiful face oh my god my hair is really luscious i wish i had all of that right now which i don't so look at yourself and appreciate yourself and really that this body that is going to carry you through this life you just have one life guys and you're given just one body which is going to carry you through this this journey called life love it love your body don't look at someone else don't look at you know someone with six pack and think damn i hate my rolls don't do it because your rolls are keeping you alive her six packs are not keeping you alive you know so love yourself i used to have really bad hormonal acne all through my late teenage years i hated my face i hated it i used to see such depreciating things to myself i wish someone told me that it will go i mean look at my skin it's gone no acne it's just the age listen if you are in your late teens early 20s and you have acne it's just the age don't worry i know how painful that is i had a lot of scars i had a lot of bumps i had i had a lot of and it started when i was 14 all the way till i was 20 you know it seemed like it's never going to go but guess what you still grow up and it's going to go and you are going to get clear skin don't worry people still will love you people still will find you beautiful i still had my friends and i still had people who thought i was beautiful i just didn't think i was beautiful you know i wish i could change that and i want to change that for you if you are doubting yourself no you are beautiful okay i want you to look at yourself in the mirror every day and say you're awesome number 8 exercise guys <sighs> you are blessed with very good body when you are young most of us are okay um so it is easy for us to take our body for granted when we are younger but if you start exercising when you are younger you are building a much stronger foundation for your older years i used to exercise pretty much all my life and i feel like i'm much much stronger um stronger is the word for who i am i'm a really strong person and that's because i took care of myself when i was younger and i really did exercise whenever i could uh, in college and all it's not like all the time but uh, for the most part if i had to generalize and find a some average <laughs> of me working out i did i did you know number 9 travel i did not travel when i was in my early 20s and i really really regret that because i have started traveling now and the oh my god how travel has changed me my thoughts my perspective my life my beliefs it's magical nothing like what travel can do to your soul and your mind uh, your relationships you know it's amazing guys i just want you to solo not solo whatever fits your budget it doesn't have to be international i've said this many many times it could be the next state it could be the next city uh but travel and finally number 10 here is another advice i'm giving myself ask for what you want and what you think you need i would just wait i would just wait around for things to come to me because i don't know i don't know what the reason was but I never asked 
um but as the saying goes ask and you shall receive and ask and you are subliminally also making sure you get what you want if you just sit around and wait for things to just fall in your hands it they might but <laughs> chances are they might not and are you okay with that no so don't be ashamed to ask for what you want yeah could be a friends parents could be a job opportunity a raise promotion could be a crush you want to ask him or her out on a date could be anything so ask for what you want okay so this is uh, advice to my 20 year old self and also to you guys and that uh, wraps up this video i hope you found this video helpful i love you so much now i cannot wait to read your thoughts and comments and i shall see you in my next one i love you mm -hmm.